just when I thought, damn, I haven't heard of Dame Dash being in the news lately. What happens? The very next day, Dame Dash is in the news. So, this is actually about this woman named Edwina Brooks. She wrote a novel or, or a short novel, whatever, and she bummed the Dame Dash. She said, you know what, I'm going to make this a movie. Dame said, oh, I got you. We can do this. So they connected. I believe she hired somebody else to write the script. So they brought Dame in as somebody to, you know, direct the movie and, uh, and film it. And then they have a falling out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no contracts, whatever. But Dame takes the movie. I guess he finishes finishes the movie behind her back. Puts the movie on his private channel. Doesn't give her credit. Doesn't give her any money. He just took over it like, hey, it's mine now. It's my thing. So she took him to court. Now, I remember this story years ago. And let me tell you something. I'm a writer that's in a similar position as her. So I write novels. I write a lot of scripts. And I also do a lot of ghost writing. So I do shop my scripts around sometimes. And if I were at that same convention or wherever she met Dame Dash, I definitely would have connected with him, got my lawyer to look over a contract if we agreed upon something, and then work with Dame on one of my novels. I would have, you know what I'm saying? So I know exactly where she's coming from. Where it turns out, they went to court recently, she won her case, but look, on top of her winning her case, she got awarded $300,000, and of course, Dame Dash and his lawyer said they're gonna appeal. This video is brought to you by Rap Snacks. That's right, Rap Snacks. Barbecuing with my honey. A little Romeo, got some Rap Snacks, and these joints are good too. You get the munchies, man, you tear these things up. Read the article. Dame Dash acted a natural fool in court. He cut off witnesses. When witnesses were speaking to the lawyer, he would cut them off and answer for them. He was just talking all during the Dagwon court proceeding. Then he told the lawyer that uh, the lawyer's breath stunk. It was just all types of stuff, but they having their word, you know, word for word, some of the things Dame Dash was throwing out there. Dame got up in there and acted like Trump, like it's his world. But I guess he was like, you know what, I'm going to lose, and I'm paying this lawyer, so let me cut a natural fool. He's lucky they didn't throw his ass in jail. So it's been a, a weird thing with Dame Dash because... He got shortchanged by Lee Daniels, and he finally tracked down Lee Daniels. Uh, supposed to get some money, but then the money was awarded to his ex-wife for child support. So it was like when Dame wins, he gets a loss, or two lo losses. Then he wins again, he gets a couple of losses. So this time, he loses again. He didn't go to jail, but he has to pay this money. Of course, he's not gonna pay it, he's gonna appeal, and then if that doesn't work out, we'll see what happens then. But be about your business. Don't shortchange nobody. Don't try to uh, take advantage of people because it will come back on, on you, for real. So that's it for me. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Please leave me any comments or anything that you want to get across to me. I'm Money Green. Talk to me. Make money, money, go shopping. Soon another video will be dropping.